Hi there guys, it's Eastwood for Life Fan here, back finally with a new update and it's been a while. Um, some of you may have known uh, in, in, within the community that uh, recently, uh, back in uh, late January, I had my second shoulder operation. So that is the reason why I haven't been putting out a lot of content, only to be appearing on some of the live streams wearing a sling. But uh, yeah, on the road to recovery, and uh, it's been 10 weeks, and now feeling physically able to uh, show you guys what I've been picking up, uh, movie-related items. So guys, I hope you enjoy the items that I've picked up, and a uh, big thank you for all you guys, uh, some of you guys in the community who know me uh, a little bit more personal, uh, who sent me some uh, great messages and checking how I was in my recovery uh, that really means uh, a lot for you guys reaching out to us uh, that really meant a lot and uh, I'll never forget that so uh, yeah back to filming more content uh, obviously uh, there'll be more live streams I did appear in a few uh, the odd sort of uh, live stream the talking movies live streams uh, early in the year wearing a sling but now uh, fit and able uh, so let's get back to filming some more content on youtube so guys hope you enjoy the uh, update speak to you all soon so to the update and it's uh, quite a bit because it's what i picked up in january february and also march so three months worth so i try to be as brief as i can we have dvds blu-rays and 4k editions and a movie program to show uh quite a few of these movies are gangster movies uh, because we did do a uh, talking movies live stream uh, back in february on the gangster movie genre uh, where we had a great guest on there uh, andy from the the great channel of uh, forgotten world of movies very informative guy very knowledgeable guy in in all genres of movies uh, please check his channel out i'll leave the link in the uh, description box down below so yeah there's a lot of gangster movies here on show so to the dvds been really getting into my james cagney movies uh, it's great to watch these movies again guys please don't sort of say black and white movies you don't like watching give these gangster movies a shot because without these movies you would not have had some of the great gangster movies, uh, the Scorsese and the Palmer ones. So, yeah. Yeah, the Public Enemy DVD, um, early 1930s gangster movie. One of the most uh, known early gangster movies from James um, Cagney, uh, directed by William A. Wellman. Uh, this one's a classic, but I actually do prefer other ones. So, yeah, the Public Enemy on DVD. Uh, this one is a, I'm a huge fan of, Angels with Dirty Faces, uh, James Cagney, Pat O'Brien, and also Humphrey Bogart. This is one of my personal favourites, and uh, this one now has been released on Blu-ray, which I did notice uh, last weekend. So yeah, we'll definitely be upgrading uh, this one to Blu-ray. Great gangster movie, this one. Also, another James Cagney one, The Roaring Twenties. This is a, another sort of top five James Cagney movie for me. This one, also Humphrey Bogart is in this one as well. Uh, love the ending of this, the classic scene. Uh, he used to be a, sh uh, a big shot, The Roaring Twenties. And this one's going to be getting a uh, Blu-ray release from the Criterion label. So I'm going to probably be upgrading to the blu-ray yeah the roaring 20s great gangster movie and probably his most known movie uh, one of his most known movies uh, white heat which was uh, this one's more later in his career the ones i showed previous were ones from the 1930s but this one was from the late 1940s white heat uh, great gangster movie my personal favorite and uh, what a movie and uh, what a classic ending yeah white heat and again there is a blu-ray release on this on the uh, warner archives uh, label which 
I'm guessing I'll have to upgrade as well. More gangster movies. Uh, this one, Miller's Crossing, uh, one f uh, from the Coen Brothers. One that I bought this on DVD because I don't remember really enjoying this one uh, that much back in the VHS days. This one starring uh, Gabriel Byrne and Albert Finney. But yeah, it's decent, but it's not one of my personal gangster movie favourites. But I, I know a lot of fans do really enjoy this one. This one's set in the 1930s. Uh, well made. Uh, probably I'll give it another attempt with a Blu-ray up grade but yeah not one of my personal favorites for me this one i've been after for a while it was the first time watched the uh hbo uh tv movie of gotti starring armand uh, asante and plus uh, also anthony quinn is in this movie one of his last uh, movie performances and you get plenty plenty of uh the actors from the uh, the Sopranos uh, TV series before they went on to appear in that series. Yeah, this one's not bad. Uh, I don't think it's got a Blu-ray release. It's okay, but I was expecting a little bit more. Um, but a lot of people do say it's pretty uh, authentic and uh, a lot of it to the story of the real uh, John Gotti. Yeah. And the last DVD... Also, it was a first time watch, uh, Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler, and also the late Carl Weathers, who passed away in February, and uh, first time watch for me, and i got to say, I really, really did enjoy this movie, it was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, also in February, we did do a live stream um, with a, a tribute to Carl Weathers, so I wanna, I'm, I'm also going to not only am I going to add a uh, description for the Forgotten World of Movies, but also the two live streams, the Gangster Movie one and also the Carl Weathers one in the uh, description box down below. For any of you guys who might be interested, yeah, Carl Weathers, great action star. I really enjoyed this one. Really surprising how good he was as a comedy actor. And I'm hearing there's going to be a sequel to this. So that's all the DVDs. Onto the uh, Blu-rays now. Uh, some of these items actually I did receive in a couple of uh, trade packages. Actually two trade packages from two uh, American guys. I'll just briefly show. This one was sent to us by my good buddy uh, Nick, the last shoegazer. The US uh, Deadwood uh, Complete series. Um, yeah, three great seasons and I do need to get the uh, the movie that they uh, needed to complete uh, which they did make in 2019 uh, great edition this one uh, pretty pricey to pick up uh, this great edition of a great TV series starring uh, Ian McShane and uh, some more American releases. This one was sent to us by my good buddy uh, Mike's DVD and Blu-ray collection. I did briefly, uh, I did show, did do a video of that. This one, Creep Show, season three. Uh, I do know. I think the first two or three have been released in the UK. But since I bought the first two with American editions, I thought I'd just carry on and follow suit. I do need to pick up the. Uh, fourth season uh, i've only seen the first season and uh yeah I, I enjoyed it for what it is uh it's well it's not like the movie but yeah some great horror stories and it comes with the slip cover creep show season three which is uh yeah very popular shudder tv series obviously because it's uh made four seasons um also this seven box set the uh, Violent Streets, and uh, Lindsay and Thomas Millian, uh, 70s Euro crime movies. Uh, I don't own many editions from Severin, but this one was uh, very difficult to uh, not want to purchase. I mean, I, I did have the majority of these movies in the uh, UK uh, releases, but I mean, this set. Uh, 
They made some great movies together, Umberto Lenzi, who also did do some uh, Giallo movies, but you're a crime. Uh, I do enjoy his movies with Thomas Millian. Almost Human, which is a personal favourite of mine. Great Euro crime movie, Syndicate Sadists, also with Thomas Millian, the uh, Cuban actor who made a career uh, in European movies. Also, Free Hand for a Tough Cop, loving the uh, artwork to these uh, releases. The Cynic, The Rat and the Fist, Maruccio uh, Merli, and Thomas Millian. And Brothers Till We Die. All great Eurocrime movies, plenty of action, car chases. So a great set from uh, Severin. And yet again, more gangster movies. Uh, this one, Dillinger, or Dillinger. Um, sorry, Warren Oates. Um, yeah, revisited this one. Great action scenes. Uh, some of the shootouts in this movie is very, very good and entertaining. Uh, kind of done exactly the same way as Michael Mann did. Um, I've forgotten the name of the movie now. Um, it will come to me in a minute. Dillinger. <laughs> Public Enemies. Uh, yeah, Warren Oates. This does come with the book clip. Actually has a great cast. You also have Ben Johnson, also Harry Dean Stanton, and a young Richard uh, Dreyfus. Uh, but yeah, this one's a pretty good one. Underrated and kind of forgotten about the uh, notorious um, bank robber, John Dillinger. Another classic, uh, this one, a British gangster classic, The Long Good Friday. And uh, as soon as I purchased this, what do you know, the uh, 4K uh, edition got announced. Uh, but I'm content with this uh, Blu-ray steelbook. Uh, this one about the uh, London gangster, played by Bob Hoskins and the young Helen Mirren. Um, yeah, it's a good one. This also comes with the booklet and the DVD. Classic British gangster movie, The Long Good Friday. This one, Sexy Beast. Um, I remember the first time I watched this, I actually thought it was okay, but on a revisit, I really did enjoy this one. Ray Winston, Ben Kingsley, and Ian McShane. Uh, yeah, nasty bastard. Ben Kingsley is in this one, who kind of wants um, Ray Winston, a kind of a retired, um, kind of safe cracker, to come on one last job, but he's kind of forcing him to come out of retirement. Very, very good gangster movie, this one, and highly violent, sexy beast. Next pickup is a two movie uh, set of the Analyze This and Analyze That uh, comedy gangster movies where Billy Crystal plays a psychiatrist who uh, takes on a uh, mob boss as one of his clients. Uh, yeah, first one is always the better one, Analyze This. Uh, these, are, these are fun movies and this is like the uh, Scandinavian uh, release which does come with the two movies on yeah two separate discs yeah Robert De Niro is uh, he's hilarious in this one I, I do find his movies quite quite enjoyable and a lot of fun um, this one is uh, Legend played by Tom Hardy where he plays both of the uh, the uh, tw um, the Cray twin brothers, uh, Reggie and uh, Ronnie. Um, I need to revisit this one again. Um, I always preferred the actual the Cray twins uh, with the uh, the Kemp brothers. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a a revisit. It does have this uh, lenticular slip cover. So that's a pretty decent one with a. Some sort of an effect. Yeah, Tom Hardy, great actor. 
and also another one with Tom Hardy this one uh, Lawless um, which is actually one I haven't seen but this was pretty cheap to pick up this one yeah, set in the uh, I'm guessing the 1930s also with Guy Pearce on to the 4k editions and uh, this one I originally wasn't planning on picking up the uh, second sight films uh, collector's edition of a groundbreaking horror movie directed by Toby Hooper the Texas chain saw massacre and what a set this is um, yeah I didn't think this one was going to sell out as quick and I did pick this up for a pretty decent price uh, which will briefly just show you this, the bits in, in this because I'm guessing there's loads of uh, thousands and thousands of uh, unboxings of uh, this great edition. You do get the uh, 180 page uh, book and a lot of info about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm really liking the colour scheme, red and black. There's old leather face there and uh, for me it's a very nice compact set I think the reason why I wasn't going to purchase this because I thought I was assuming that it was going to come in a sized uh, similar size to the Dawn of the Dead set but yeah great book and all the discs come in this uh, digipack uh, loads of features all with uh, different artwork nice touch yeah great ending and you get some movie cards as well yeah so here are the movie cards going with the uh, red and black color scheme to the set what an awesome picture that is uh, really well done and that classic uh, famous shot with the eye so yeah there is the uh, second sight release the 4k collectors uh, edition of the texas chainsaw massacre and there's all the stacks of features yeah definitely one of their finest releases for me the texas chainsaw massacre the yeah, next 4K collector set is the Jaws 2 Lenticular Limited Edition, which another one that I slept on. I uh, didn't think it was going to sell out, and I am actually a huge fan of uh, the first two Jaws movies. Not so much the the third one, and I did give up on the fourth movie, which I'm actually considering in. Uh, picking up in my next update uh, part three and part four but yeah I mean Jaws 2 came out a few years later four years later into the storyline and uh, yeah we'll have a look at the additions in this so with this release you do get these uh, nice kind of glossy lobby cards uh, one of the great movie quotes for a movie just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water there's uh, Roy Scheider Chief Brody and on the back of these uh, cards you get Jaws 2 on the back and the movies do come in this uh, steel book that is the back that is the front Inside the steelbook, you get the uh, 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc, and with separate different artwork, which is uh, which they don't normally do these days so much. But yeah, Roy Scheider, Chief Brody. Yep, I think this image could have been a lot better. It's different. Jaws two does come with the booklet of some great photos and again this one uh, I did pick this one up on 
eBay actually um, with a late bid uh, because these editions did get sold out pretty quick. Yeah, easily the best sequel in the Jaws movie series. And you also get a poster of that great image from back in the day. Jaws 2. And also another one on the back, um, which is a little bit different. It's not one I'm familiar with. It's always been that one. Yeah, great edition for... Jaws 2, the 4K lenticular uh, limited uh, steelbook edition, Jaws 2. Yeah, so that's Jaws 2, and I did forget to say that this is actually limited to 2,000 copies. Uh, so, don't, so don't sit on the fence if you see this for a good price. Uh, mine's numbered, I'm not big on, on the numbers yet. Yeah, out of 2,000 copies, Jaws 2. And the last stack of movies. This one I actually picked up, picked up in my local CEX for 10 British pounds. Uh, the Water Hill Classic, 48 hours. Uh, big fan of this one. My favourite Water Hill movie, um, 48 hours with Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. Uh, do plan on picking up the uh, sequel uh, another 48 hours which is one I've always thought was uh, a little bit underrated yeah great movie this one a couple of Harrison Ford movies uh, this one was part of that uh, trade package with Mike's DVD and Blu-ray collection the uh, Arrow Video USA uh, 4k collectors release of Witness Great movie directed by Peter Weir, starring Harrison Ford, where he takes a uh, young boy as a witness and he's protecting him as the killers uh, are after him. Uh, not a fan of that design. There are some movie cards in this set, and you also do get a booklet. This was part of that video, uh, my uh, last trade package with Mike's DVD and Blu-ray collection. Very underrated Harrison Ford performance. Um, yeah, probably his finest acting performance in my opinion. Also, Kelly McGillis is in this one. Very uh, good actress. She was and kind of uh, kind of quit Hollywood. Uh, shortly afterwards she didn't really continue with her fame because obviously she was in the movie Top Gun with uh, Tom Cruise she's also known for as well but yeah great release of Witness so that is the uh, US Arrow Video limited uh, edition of Witness uh, some strange reason it's still not being released in the UK but guys if you do love this movie then I'd strongly recommend picking this one up Harrison Ford in Witness the other Harrison Ford movie actually on 4k release is The Fugitive uh, big shout out to my buddy Dan Dan's uh, a movie cave he picked this one up in London um, my local HMV actually never I never had this movie uh, when I went over there with the slip cover. So yeah, big thank you, Dan. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones uh, is also in this movie. Great movie. Uh, for me, a top 10 Harrison Ford movie, this one from his career, The Fugitive. Um, next one is a Rob Reiner movie. Um, this movie along with Misery, uh, my favorite movies that he directed. Uh, great young cast this one a uh, kind of a childhood journey movie when uh, these boys they go looking for well this kind of missing boy then they found uh, the body of, of the missing boy uh, yeah very good movie this one uh, it's been a while since i've watched this one and uh, the story was actually by stephen king yeah great actors in this one you get Corey fieldman and Kiefer sutherland 
stand by me and the last two editions which I probably will do a unboxing because they are kind of big collectors editions and uh, again more I did pre-order these movies and gladly so because these did get sold out uh, the Conan the Barbarian uh, 4k collectors editions I know you can pick up uh, Conan the Barbarian and the uh, the Destroyer in a kind of joint set and I think that one sold out as well but yeah this was the first Conan movie Conan the Barbarian uh, more graphic more violent than the sequel uh, Arnie Arnold Schwarzenegger in this one Thief, Warrior, Gladiator and King yeah I'm going to do a separate video on this because it's a lot to show in detail and the last one Conan the, uh, the Destroyer a little bit more lesser violent more family orientated uh, which I think they they regretted they made the mistake they should have made it the 15 uh, PG uh, the 15 rating which they had for the first movie or was that one uh, an 18 because uh, this one didn't earn as much uh, in the box office compared to the first one so yeah they really should have kind of gone for the more bloody and gory um, Conan the Barbarian and kind of gone with that format for this movie but this one's still a fun one a great soundtrack in Conan the Destroyer so guys there are all the movie uh, physical media editions I did pick up I did pick up one movie program which I'll just briefly show as well and I've been collecting Japanese movie programs this is the uh, Duck You Sucker or A Fistful of Dynamite a Japanese movie program a Sergio Leone movie directed uh, that he directed uh, with uh, James Coburn and Rod Steiger now I wasn't on the hunt for this and never knew that there was actually a Japanese movie program of it and uh, yeah for the price that I got it for which was I think £11 including a Japanese shipping and uh, jumped on it straight away because these items are quite rare so yeah the Japanese movie program of Duck You Sucker the original title not a fistful of dynamite which is known more in the UK and in the US so there is the movie all the movie related items I picked up in January February and March uh, yeah so it's been a while returning uh, but yeah more content uh, up and coming and more live streams as well and guys please do check out the uh, bank holiday uh, bank holiday Easter live stream uh, with us guys on the Talking Movies live stream, uh, Dan's uh, Movie Cave, myself, uh, 101 Bronson, Jeff, where part two of our epic Easter double header with Scott the Movie Critic and uh, Rock God 2004, Euphoria Pictures with Keith and also Andy from Forgotten World of Movies, and that's going to be on uh, 7.30 Easter Bank Holiday. Um, on Monday so guys please check that out uh, there will be a community post on the channel so guys yeah sorry for the long video hope you enjoyed everything I picked up let us know your thoughts and uh, hope to hear from you all and uh, as always keep on collecting and take care go ahead Make my day.